And, and I've got my Dell water bottle here. Thank you. For all of you. <clears throat> uh, I flew out from Philadelphia yesterday, and I, I apologize for Philadelphia Philly rowdy fans. Um, they took over the airplane. They're, they're really obnoxious, arrogant people. Um, I apologize. <laughs> But I, uncertainty in healthcare, before COVID, healthcare was really uncertain because of the transfer from fee-for-service to global-based, value-based payments. But after the uh, COVID epidemic, it's even more uncertain. So I was asked to talk about uncertainty in healthcare, challenges and opportunities. <clears throat> it's kind of a weird speech, but I've got an agenda that we'll try to stick to um, and, and try to stick with me, because I think that there's some interesting things from other industries that can help healthcare deal with uncertainty. So black swans and Nasim Tlaib. Probably the person that knows most about uncertainty is Nasim Tlaib. Anybody know who that is? Anybody heard of him? A few people. He's uh, wrote the book Black Swan. He's worth, uh, I looked it up, he's either worth $400 million or a billion dollars, so he's done very well in using uncertainty principles to make money. Um, but he's also a brilliant mathematician, has written a book called Black Swan and even a more technical book called Anti-Fragile, which has some real knowledge to impair for us about uncertainty. We've mentioned that pandemics, historically after pandemics, society has totally changed. And so that even adds more to un uncertainty. So we're just now, the pandemic's not over. Um, I'm surprised nobody's wearing a mask in the audience. Um, when I get on an airplane, I still wear a mask. Uh, so we'll talk about that briefly. 